Food ulcer and diabetic food. It's very important in AMC exam. The most important types of ulcer include first ischemic ulcer, the second one is venous ulcer, and finally neuropathic ulcer. Well, for the ischemic ulcer, the site of it is usually at the tips of toes, like here in this picture, because this is ischemic ulcer due to ischemia. So usually it involves the tip of toes. The second one is venous ulcer, as I said previously, and the most common site of it is near medial malleolus, like here in this picture, and this is very important. And finally, neuropathic ulcer. It usually involves the head of the first metatarsal bone and also involves the heel, and this is also important. For ischemic ulcer, it is painful due to ischemia, while venous ulcer and the neuropathic ulcer, both of them are painless. So keep this in your mind. The only painful ulcer is ischemic ulcer. Now, some important notes related to venous ulcer. The main line of treatment of venous ulcer is hydrocolloid dressing or dry dressing. The best is hydrocolloid dressing, but if this not available in the choices, then use dry dressing. Use this along with compression stocking with leg elevation. And please focus on this. No routine use of antibiotic in case of venous ulcer. It's only used in case of special situation. So, routinely, there is no use of antibiotic in venous ulcer. Just hydrocolloid dressing or dry dressing. That's all. Now, what is the cause of a black discoloration of venous ulcer? You know, the venous ulcer usually appear black in color. What is the cause of that? It's important. It's usually occurred due to hemosiderin deposition from distracted RBC in the area. Okay. Now, let's talk about diabetic food. The cause of diabetic food usually is due to neuropathy. So, it's neuropathic ulcer mostly. And the site is usually involved, as I said previously, the heel and also the head of the first metatarsal bone. For the step of management, the first step of management in case of diabetic food is deprivement of dead tissue. After that, it depends. If the area, I mean the ischemic area, is not infected, which means there is no pus and the area is clear, as here in this picture. So, if it's clear and there is no pus, the only treatment is deprivement, then dressing no antibiotic need but in case of infected ulcer i mean there is pus or perulent discharge from the ulcer that's mean it's infected ulcer then the treatment will be deprivement first step then dressing along with antibiotic use here it is important now the most important question is how I give the antibiotic? Is it oral? Is it IV? Is it at home? Is it at hospital? How I give it? And on which thing I can depend on? Well, for AMC exam, it would depend on the erythema around the ulcer. As here in this picture. If the erythema around the ulcer is less than 2 cm, then the treatment will be oral antibiotic at home. But in case of erythema more than 2 cm, then the treatment will be IV antibiotic also at home. There is no hospital admission in AMC exam. Okay? So the first step is deprivement. Then if it's not infected, only dressing. If it's infected, then antibiotic. And for antibiotic, it depends on the erythema. If the erythema is less than 2 cm around the ulcer, then it's oral antibiotic. If more than 2 cm, then IV antibiotic, and both of them is at home. Finally, what is the best way of prevention of diabetic ulcer? The best way of prevention is by good food caring. 
Good food caring is the most important prevention technique for diabetic ulcer patients. Okay, that's all for IMC exam. For full course, please contact us through imcqbook at gmail.com. Thanks and goodbye.